last time on The Witness, we... I don't remember what we did. The quarry laser? Right? And then we went to the, the sand, the desert area. We did a bunch of mirror reflective sunlight puzzles on those panels with like the hexagon looking things. We did some more of the windmill section, uh, but then got a little stuck. We went back to the temple and I make I always make highlights of the streams and as I was making the highlight I feel like I'm still looking at that dang temple and I just can't quite see it. But there is a couple things I want to go try over there. Um, we'll see if I have time for it today. That's what we did last time. We're still in the desert area to start out. We're at 326 plus 52. We also confirmed what I think was confirmed is that plus 52 is the environmental puzzles because we we were at 50 and then I solved one and it was 51. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. It could still be a coincidence, but I don't know. I'm pretty convinced. Oh, we also, the last thing we did on stream was spend a really long time in the room right before this because I had to take screenshots of all of the different puzzles in this room to put together the one on the floor. I was real confused by that. Or rather, I just had a really hard time orienting everything the way it needed to be oriented. And now we get to solve these. So here is this one. Can I see it from here? Uh, this will be above, right? Oh, cool! It just it shows you solving it in the reflection. Makes such a nice noise. We're off to a good start. Uh, what else was in the Nintendo Direct that was exciting? I was just really excited to see that opening screen of Ocarina of Time because I feel like we've been talking about it forever. People wanted a hard copy bundle of Ocarina of Time Majora's Mask, but the fact that we'll get to play it on the Switch at all is pretty cool. I, I, I love the N64, you all know I do, so I'm always excited about N64 news. Uh, this is an environmental puzzle right here. Didn't- did we- is this the one we already did? Yeah, okay. That was the one we tested on. The Kirby game did look interesting. The Kirby game looked really cute. I haven't played a Kirby since- well, we played the free one on Switch on stream a couple times. The the fighting one is cute. It's not super my style, but it was really fun to play with friends. And then I played- Crystal Shards, and that's about it. It's been a long time. I wish I could, uh, back up there. Do I have to go around this way? Are you all, uh, are any of you, like, Bayonetta fans? Or Splatoon fans? That was, I feel, some pretty big news. Alright, I'm procrastinating. We want this. Nope, don't go this way. Go this way. It's so interesting doing the mirror image. Chuck, thank you for the host. I appreciate it. It's good to see you. I'm a Chris Pratt fan. Yeah, that's good news for you then. That was so wild. Oh, mistake! We may have done a raid. Hi friends, welcome in. How was your stream? What were you working on today, mistake? Uh, oh, hang on, I have to tap out. Zero, hi. I may have mistakenly raided. Number, welcome back. Holly, hi. There we go. Ooh, how's- it's called Greek, right? How is that? How's your Friday going also? Chris Pratt fan, but I can't say I'm super excited about the cast. We were, Yeah, I don't know. We were talking about the Nintendo Direct for anybody just coming in. Um, Greek, yes, we finished it. I loved it. 
good. Congrats. GG's. What kind of a game is that? Is it a puzzle game? Platformer? Exploration? So pretty. The music is great. The story is dope. I want a continuation. Chuck, you got a new color. When did that happen? I missed it. Puzzle platformer. Very cool. Yeah, we were talking about the Nintendo Direct and, um... I guess just barely breached the topic of the Mario movie, but definitely excited for the N64 stuff, Chuck. Yeah, Animal Crossing, Kirby game. There's some good stuff in there, I thought. I did change my color, finally connected a prime so I can be teal. Nice. Mystique, thank you again for the raid. It's good to see you always. This goes up and over, right? Nope. My brain will get the hang of it eventually. Chuck the teal wonder, and my smile can finally look like this, that prime smile. I like the little robot smiles. I would, I would miss them. This is illuminated now. Oh, whoa. Can I see the... Oh, okay. Now I have to not do it all in one go here. Wait, does this cross through the middle? No, it crosses through the top and then the center and it cuts out a chunk. Let's see if I know what that even means. I think it looks like this. Yeah. If the Joker and Daniel Craig James Bond castings have taught us anything, it's that give the actor a chance. Yeah. Stoked for Charlie Day as Luigi. I was just, I mean, I, yeah, give it a chance. Like, I haven't seen it. I don't know how anybody's gonna do. That's fair. It's just so striking to watch something like that and just shake my head, like, Nintendo has so much money. They like they just pick this person and this person and this person cuz why not, you know? Get the biggest names we can get. But I also feel like you know, we have a voice of Mario. We've had a voice of Mario forever. He's amazing. It's my duty as a Sunny fan to splice the other weird Charlie Luigi video. I like it. E, welcome in. This area is pretty cool so far. I like it too. My feeling on it is that, especially with voice acting only, do they really need the biggest names in film rather than finding similar, smaller names who could do a better job bringing the characters to life? Yeah, why is Charles Martinet not Mario? That was like, and he's in the movie. I'm like, what a slap in the face. Like, I don't know. It's just weird. But I'm not in film and I don't, I don't know. I don't know why people make the decisions they make. How can I see this? How is how tricky is this? Aha. That is how tricky it is. Scenes from the movie, but dialogue from Sunny. If you know Ultra in California, you know. Feels like it'll be the Lego movie, but Mario. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Will I spend the money to see it? I don't know. <laughs> so I can't judge unless I see it, but it was definitely a surprise. Oh my goodness. Okay. This one starts at the top, works its way around all the way to the bottom, cuts in, and then exits. Can I get it from here? Nope. Go this way. Nope. Go this way. There we go. The clicking on those when you finish them is incredible. Okay. This is nice. I can't help but think we're missing more environmental puzzles, but let's move on. Let's continue. Maybe I'll see one from this door once I open it. Ta da! Child Me got burned on the Super Mario Brothers movie, so I don't know. Yeah! 
I love Aladdin, but its influence on the celebrity over voice actor industrial complex has been bad for big studio animation. It's changed. Things have changed. I've, I feel like there's some good YouTube videos out there talking about animation with big name voice actors for sure. Oh, this goes deeper and deeper. We are way underground now. Whoa. 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 Fascinating. You went in reverse from what I did in this game. This was the last area I did before I stopped playing. Oh, interesting mistake. I love- I can't wait until I've played more and I can talk to more people about the different things they've done. Because more so than any game we've played, I feel like you can just do everything in, in such a different order. That's a circle. Circle, what are your secrets? I wanted to like connect with this line in the wall, but I don't think that's it. We'll worry about it later. So what do these do? Lights? Can we get some more light down here? Drains the water. Oh, weird. The way you solved the puzzles above here was so cool. Once I figured it out, I was like, I love this game. Yeah. Too early for spoopy season? I think some people are already going uh, full on spoopy. This was the second area you came to? Nice. The puzzles are draining. I didn't get it at first. Oh my god. Hi, JMSR. <laughs> I'm reading it as JSMR because ASMR brain. I will fix it. Oh. Okay, this one is at the bottom. Up one all the way over and then ends at the top. Like this. For a second I thought we were gonna have to solve it in the reflection. Can you? No. That would be weird. The witness is where I draw the line. Oh god. <laughs> no, you can say that. <laughs> Why is there a panel over here? Up with you are you on the ceiling or is your reflection on the ceiling or neither weird we um i told you all the polish i had on before was starting to chip we're gonna do metroid nails soonish but it chipped earlier than i expected so we went a little bit spoopy season and like did pumpkin orange <laughs> in the meantime before I do my metroid nails I just need to get something on there so I won't like so I won't bite them <laughs> so I won't re return to my nail biting habits Ooh, this is a new one look at that I'll, I'll, I'll try to focus though how do I get the reflection on this over here do I gotta raise the water level again maybe do I... Here, let's let's just try this. See what happens. I wonder, as it raises, do we see a change in this over here? I think this is not doing what I think it's doing. Okay, there. This is what I wanted. So it starts up... Uh, no the bottom goes up crosses I, I think I know what that is yeah weird very cool 
Alternatively, if you want to learn to bite your nails more, I suggest putting bugles on them. Perfect. I like this solution. Do I immediately have to lower it again? I want to watch at some point the speedrun of this game and see how people just absolutely memorize every little switch and lever that you have to pull. Bren, how's it going? Thank you for the resub. Welcome back to the human race. Enjoy your earth badge, your emotes, your ad previewing. We're very glad to have you. Happy Friday. But there aren't that many months on the calendar. How did they do that? Thank you. Mm -hmm. I haven't had those in forever. Might buy them soon. I saw Dunkaroos at Walmart the other day. I couldn't believe my eyes. I thought they stopped making them. Speaking of haven't had a snack in forever, how can this be? <laughs> the speedrun is mind boggling, I bet. Okay, that, I don't know what that is yet. I don't know what this is yet. Let's lower it again, because why not? What else have we got to lose? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Gonna check it out. Fourteen minute speedrun, it was mind boggling, yeah. If you know the answer, you don't have to see, you just know it. Yep. Oh, now I think I see the the environmental puzzle. It's something like here, maybe? I don't know. That's interesting. But now I feel like I did that wrong because I'm not getting a light on any of this. Maybe I gotta come over here? How do you turn into a circle? So many distractions. Give me all the 90 snack, the uh... can I go that we see reflections even close to that spot? I don't know. I'm gonna have to try some more options, because I keep standing there staring from the same places. Dunkaroos started getting re-released a couple months ago! That's such good news! And I, I didn't buy them. I saw them as we were leaving, and I was like, well... Maybe another time. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, no. The top right, and then around the bottom and out the other side is what it looks like. Like this. Maybe this? I had it flipped around in my head. Okay. Fun dip. I forgot about fun dip. I used to, like, fun dip and baby bottle pops and push pops used to always be in those little stacks at the checkout at lots of places, but especially Blockbuster. I remember always looking at those and being like, can I get a fun dip from Blockbuster, please? <laughs> chalk stick you dipped in a pixie sticks powder yeah and it was maybe a little well pixie sticks were kind of sour too right i was thinking fun dip was a little more sour than pixie sticks and it was bright blue the one blue raspberry would turn your mouth blue you know it's a high quality 90s snack when it changes the color of your tongue which one does this light up now this right here. Weird. I think we have to lower it again. 
back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. We shall see. It's like as that is lowering, it turns into a circle. How is that working? This is weird. To see it from all the way over here? No. All the way over here? Wait, I keep going in circles. All the way over here? I can't see it from here. Maybe as it's lowering, I have to stand like right here. That's why this is here. Wait, hang on. Or as it's raising. Can I have straight sugar? Why not? I don't know. We get them sometimes. That was less helpful than anticipated. Weird. 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 And back and forth, and back and forth. What about from back here? Yeah, okay. Uh it's the bottom and cuts in and cuts out a chunk and then up around to the top. Can I solve it from here? No, because there's all this stuff in the way. Of course, Jen. Okay, controller, please. Oh, is that it? Is that the door? Oh, this one now. Aha! Uh, it's gonna be... Oh, wait. How does this work? Did we do it? That was so strange. Straight sugar, but look at all the colors. Yeah. When I was young and had the highest metabolism in the world, I'd put sugar on my ice cream. <laughs> yeah, like sprinkles and chocolate syrup and candy on top of your ice cream. So there's something funky about this one. Because I think we have to do it differently for this one over here to light up, right? Maybe? Don't answer that. I want to mess with this again really quickly. Oh. Except I think we're going to have to do it as it's lowering, not as it's rising. Oh, I can see the one on the... right there. It's not even... oh, there it is. Ooh, it goes to the left? No? It didn't let me didn't do anything. Mm 
This room is weird. Huh. I don't trust you. Circular dot on the wall. There's so much happening here. Austin, how's it going? Welcome in. Thank you for the resub. Thank you for seven months. Welcome back to the human race. Enjoy your earth badge, your emotes, your ad previewing. We're very glad to have you. Thanks for the hype. We're doing a little bit of Witness Friday. Um, sort of a change of plans today, but I needed chill puzzles. It's going to be a little bit of a shorter stream. I figured why not? This game always makes me happy when we stream it, so why wouldn't I? I was just, I think part of, uh, I'm, I'm enjoying streaming Metroid 2, but I think setting up the extra cam and map cam and I was getting a little stressed during our setup today, so I just wanted to have a calm, chill stream. I don't know what's going on with this. We gotta do this, raise the water level one more time. Circle paranoia is real. Too real. It's very intense. I don't think this is the only place I'll be able to see this from, but it's the best view I've gotten it gotten of it so far. Except it only gives you that little part of it. Which is the lower right hand corner, it cuts over to the top, then back down and across. That doesn't help us solve the whole thing. There must be other places I can see it from, right? Isn't there a switch right here? Yeah. But there's only one starting point possibility, I think. How's it going? Welcome in. Thanks for using the song command. Hi. <laughs> oh, hi, Jim. Welcome. It's good to see you, too. I cannot, uh... I know we're not exhausting our options here. I don't like that there's only a limited amount of time for me to look at this and then I just have to keep switching it back and forth a bunch is what it seems and this is the same this is the view we've already seen how do I get a different view of this This doesn't show me something new. Hello? Thank you so much for the Kofi donation. I appreciate it. Oh, we found the reflection too. Heck yes. Okay. This is good. Um, thank you. Let me check that out really quick. So we can add it to our counter, to our goal. Working towards that cosplay. Uh, $30. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. <laughs> Heck, somebody's got to do the last dollar. We're so close. Um, let me update this. I guess that means more cosplay. What are we going to do? Well, we're not there yet. I won't jump the gun but I super appreciate the support.
Wolf, how's your Friday going? I know you've been busy with, um, with Echo stuff too, with, with Outer Wild stuff. It's been really hectic in the Outer Wild server because we're trying to figure out who's playing on console, who's playing on PC, make sure nobody gets any spoilers. Interruptus is doing a lot of work, a lot, a lot of work for the community, which is very cool. Alright, so now I know how the puzzle ends, but I, I feel like I forgot the other part, but that's okay. Because we almost have it. Oh, I want to screenshot that. I'm going to forget that part, too. It's from over here. Life is very busy in general. Pretty hyped for Echoes and for uh, my wife driving test tomorrow. Nice! That's cool! Okay, here. So it ends at the top which we know but it comes from the center and up and down and up and over surge hi welcome in doing pretty good uh, let's use this one trying to solve all the puzzles. This one's particularly challenging because I have to move around a lot. <laughs> it just comes straight from the corner, right? I think so. Man, this one stinks. I don't even know what the first move is. Ugh. Unless you did less than a dollar, which is totally valid. I think we might have just reached our goal. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I appreciate you all. Here, I'm gonna pause really quick. Thank you for the hype! Dang, Kofi is popping off today. I appreciate it. How do I check this? Oh, thank you! Right? That's more than a dollar. Uh, right on. <laughs> Justin Bailey incoming! If you don't know who Justin Bailey is, I don't either, but what that means is it's a, it's a Samus cosplay uh, of a different sprite that you can unlock. And it's cool, she has green hair. I gotta buy a green wig. My wig collection is getting so extensive for cosplay. Stinks literally imagine what an underground room full of water is gonna smell like. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe I need to... Is there like one more spot I need to see this from to catch how it starts? Does it start by just going straight down to that corner maybe? Because we can't see it and that's the only viable solution. I think that might be it. Oops, here. And then here. Oh god. And then here, and then here, 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 here. That one was really hard for me to grasp. I had to redo it so many times. Dye your hair green, you know, you kind of want to. Yeah, we could buy more hair dye. I haven't dyed my hair. You've been just been enjoying the, the gray fade <laughs> for a while now. I let the blue fade out. 
a long time ago. Um, do we want to see if this is an EP? Or do we want to leave it alone for now? I want to see if it's an EP. I can't resist. Do that one in about 20 less room flooding cycles than me. It just feels so... It's like the same reason why I don't like the puzzle in the uh, in, in Mist. I wish I could just see it and solve it, not go through the mechanical action of like moving the cart around, but I get it. That's not it. It's so unfortunate. What if it's from here? It's something about this right there, maybe? That shadow? I don't know. To be exactly in this spot where there's no shadow. There's still a little bit of a shadow. Let's move on. Maybe we can see new things from here. We can. Sort of. No, I'm just experiencing circle paranoia. Justin Bailey is the Metroid character and not the hockey player. Yeah, not the hockey player. Mm. Also, Loki, I don't think I said hi. I think I just read your hair dye comment. <laughs> is it okay to go into speculation about who Justin Bailey is? Um, yes. I know the Justin a Bailey, like the swimsuit theory. And I know that people speculated it was someone on the developer team, but I it's not either from what I read. Other than that, I don't know. I just know that it's it's the password you input in NES Metroid NES Metroid to get that sprite, to unlock that sprite. Okay, I am procrastinating walking through this really cool arched hallway. Here, these, we saw these from the surface. Okay, let's see what we have to do in here. There's our laser. I'm excited for it. Oh, look at this curved one. Oh, this is interesting. So, who's first? Is this the over here gonna change the angle of some of these panels, maybe? Weird. I'm not going to be able to solve this one? Right? Oh, what is this on the wall even? It's not a panel. It makes a different noise. Who are you? Air light holes are one of my favorite little details. Uh, from what I can find, the most plausible theory is it's pure coincidence. There's oodles of passwords that can yield the same result as Justin Bailey, and it was quite likely someone who had figured out the password system and reverse engineered an interesting sounding password for that result. Gotcha. Yeah, that's cool. Easy peasy days are nice, yeah. 
was feeling weird earlier, but better now. I just forgot to take my meds and had to wait a few hours for them to kick in. That can leave your brain feeling all sorts of ways. That is, this is a mystery here. This is really interesting. Oh. Okay. But is it gonna be the reverse if I can do this from the other side? Do I dare screenshot this? It's gonna be from the bottom? Cause! Yay. Hello, welcome in. Thank you for the 14 months. Welcome back to the human race. Enjoy your earth badge, your emotes, your ad free viewing. We're very glad to have you. Happy Friday. Hello. <laughs> Bonus, it turns out you can use Justin Bailey and Axiom Verge to get swimsuit trace. I heard about that. I haven't done it yet. Heart was racing. I hated it. Oh, yeah, low key. Body, please behave. Real question is who left this room in such a mess? Yeah. I'm drinking wine and eating goldfish. That sounds perfect. I'm so glad it's Friday. I'm trying to look at this reflection puzzle and then memorize it and then we can go around and solve it from the other side. I think it's the bottom. It's gonna go to the far left, all the way up, stair step down, all the way down to the center and then out. I think. Not 100%, but let's try it. If my controller will. Okay, there we go. Cool. Not as mysterious as I thought. It's just such a different shape from the other ones. Huh. Oh, I didn't even notice the blue square beforehand. I just saw it as uh, the red line. Wild. What kind of wine are you drinking? This is so cool. There's our laser. I wonder if we'll get it today. I hope so. This is what changes the angle of this panel. Let's try further down first. No, it's already down, so it only has two settings, not three. Thought maybe it was in the neutral setting. The ever slow moving machinery in this game. We love it. <laughs> I'm assuming I'm just gonna catch the reflection off of the light here. Oh, weird. Is it gonna... <laughs> was I supposed to be doing that this whole time while it was moving around? No, because now it's just gonna go further down. We're gonna see less of it. There's some trick to that that I'm not seeing. Oh, here. It goes right across the bottom. Like this. Nice. One is gone! This is exciting! Okay. Oh, 
Oh, interesting. It goes across to Wait, this is weird. It looks different in the reflection than it does on the panel. Do we, are there two that we need to do? Cause the second, the bottom one's gonna light up after I do the top one. So this one goes down one across, past the center mark, then down again and at the bottom. And now this one lights up and we should just see that it comes in past two squares, down, over, and then all the way across the bottom. Oh, okay. Maybe they're trying to get you to think it's a reflection because you've been in that mindset of the reflection of the water and it's something different. It's more straightforward than that. Does this one have a thing on the back? No. Can I see it in the water from here? You can only see it in the water from here. You're neato, Ta. <laughs> Happy Friday! You're all neato! This one goes up all the way to the top. And then, I'm not sure. Then it goes down. Oh, weird. It looks like it goes like this. Nope. Oh, I can follow it from here. I always forget that. Weird. But I messed up, I think, this. Oh. No, I messed up the very top. Okay. That cut in. I thought I got turned around. Okay. This goes all the way to the bottom. That's it! We did it! The brain is warmed up. We, we did lots of panels. I'm still- I feel like there were a bunch of EPs down here that I couldn't figure out. That's okay. Are we ready for a laser? Pow! Except that's not a laser yet. Could we have jumped out of there so that we can get to that other hallway? Do we want to jump out of there? This is weird. I'm in a cage. Do I have to go all the way through there to get to the other side of that? But I don't think I could reach the lever that opened the other door. I think that door was faced the other way. How many lasers is that? <laughs> Seems like a lot. It seems like we're at maybe six? I don't know how many there are. But don't tell me. Just reach your hand through and solve the other side. Yeah. Are you making a noise? Do all the laser boxes make that much noise? Where is this one? Oh, cool. Tell me this one is going to that reflective panel in the windmill section.
Actually, don't maybe tell me, but that's what I think. <laughs> Who can say? Yeah. <laughs> you all know better than that. Don't actually tell me. <laughs> what is it that Otefu said that one time? Safe word revoked. Safe word denied. No answers for Jen on that one. I just figured out what happens if you skip the elevator. Don't tell. I know there's something to it, but. I'm, I am I decided to take the elevator all the way up. I think we did, we did this one. I also feel like there's something going on with that. Soul, thank you for the host. I appreciate it. Happy Friday. I don't know, I think there's more stuff here because we have to come back here with the boat. But I'm getting, you guessed it, distracted. I wanna, I kinda wanna sprint back over to the windmill section. But I also kinda wanna go back down to that room and check out what's on the other side of the elevator. How long do you think it'll take us to run through there? Not that long? Not that long, right? Let me just go take a little peek. Just a small peek. We're sprinting, we're sprinting! Okay, this is a little <laughs> hard for me to control though. And possibly jarring for you if I'm bumping around everywhere. Usually when I skip the elevator to my office, I have to take the stairs and I'm horribly out of breath because I haven't moved for 18 months even though it's only two flights and yeah, maybe that's what happens here. Probably. I'm out of breath already from sprinting through this room. There's definitely fishy things happening here. Look at this. Maybe this is where we have to do it from. The lighting in here is so spoopy. The flickering. Was it like that before? I don't know. Ooh, I lost it. Where was it that it didn't have a shadow? I feel like it still has a shadow, though. This isn't gonna be it. Oh, it's not connected. Oh, and it disappears under the water. Where was I? Back here? Did we have to be closer? This one's so elusive! Can I reverse it mid-thing? Probably. The theories. See, but that has a shadow on it too. That little sliver right there. It's so picky sometimes. Dalek, hi, welcome in. How's it going? Oops, I didn't mean to do that. I think I messed it up. Oh, <gasps> finally. Go, 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 go. Are we stuck though? No. Oh, cool. Yay! That was very satisfying. I'm glad I came back for that. I think I was too annoyed with having to raise the raise and lower the water level so many times that 
I didn't end up finishing it when we were there before. Yay! Thank you for the yay! <laughs> Okay, this, yeah, from the other side is... Womp womp. So really, all we ended up doing... Oh, hi. Wait. Was coming back down here... To get environmental puzzles, because we missed the, uh... The door. I feel like this is connected to something. We must have been here before. I don't know. Charmander, welcome in. How's it going? Happy Friday. That was your first environmental puzzle? Wait, I, f I thought you told me before that a different one was your first environmental puzzle. Or maybe, was yours not the river? I feel like a lot of people's was the river, except for me who just stood there and stared at it and went, wow, look, it's a circle in a line. <laughs> this is definitely the one. Nice, very cool. Maybe you just told me that you would let me know when I finally got to it, because I hadn't been here yet. Dee -doo -dee -doo. Okay sprinting again. We didn't have to take the stairs. Oh, now we're gonna have to take the stairs. Oh. More stairs. Forgive me if I'm missing a bunch of things. I'm a little excited. Let's go! I wonder... We know that there's multiple connections between areas, so maybe that's just an alternate access point? Now that this is up? I don't know. I truly don't know. But we're gonna walk- we're gonna follow this light over here. See, look, it is going to that panel in the- in the windmill section. Is it at the top of the thing that we haven't finished solving yet, though? I thought we had access to that panel already. Oh, this thing. This is where the video player is. This, is, this game is wild. This game is so intense without actually being intense. The most intense, peaceful game I've ever played. All right. I don't know, we're gonna go here first because This is so cool, because I'm aiming it um, directly back where it came from, because, you know, <laughs> angles. <laughs> Not directly back, but that, of course, was my first response. My first impulse. Too far? Too far. Way too far. Is it just one at a time, maybe? This is a lot. Okay. Cool. One, two, three. Yeah, we have six. So good to one. Thank you, Magus. <laughs> Unless we have another one from... Do we have seven? From over there, the color one? So many. 
Editor, hi, welcome in. So many lasers, so much progress. Heck yes. Okay, um... I want to do two things. I want to go back to the temple and I want to go underneath the windmill again. Because I think underneath the windmill was how we got to the um, video player, I think. Yeah. I know I haven't finished- there's a lot of environmental puzzles that I'm like, oh, I know I didn't finish that, but... We can do that later. This is... Oddly... Body-shaped? Leg... Pelvis... Leg... Heart, neck, arm, arm? Is there somewhere I can stand and see that? Can I get on top of these rocks here? Hello? Oh, stuck. Sankari, hi, thank you for the posture check for me and all the chat. Appreciate it. Oddly body shaped me. Oh no. Oh goodness. Um. How do I get up there? Can I get up there? Poor wall person. Yeah. I want my shadow outline to trace around that. Where now is the first time when I really want a jump button. <laughs> How do I get on top of this pile of rocks? <laughs> it looks like we should be able to walk up them right here. Mom's here. Hi, Mom the Human. Welcome in. It's good to have you. Happy Friday. What is posture check in French? Posture checkour? I don't know. Pronunciation. I don't think that's right at all. Well, shoot. I don't think we can climb up those. Maybe it's, maybe it's just a body-shaped set of vines. Can we get over here on the right side and look across? I think I was trying that already and came over here and that didn't work either. Come on, friend. Just do a little bit of parkour for us. Like, you could totally walk up these rocks right here. Stream gets derailed by Jen trying to find the high ground on this pile of rocks. Alright, forget it. Let's go. We're doing this because I want to see if this connects to the area we just finished. But I don't think so but I don't know we haven't been here in a minute I still only have two of the hexagon clues we found at least one other door maybe two other doors that I didn't know how to solve yet couldn't figure them out I don't know what's over there Excuse me. It's bedtime for me, chat and Jen. Y'all have a good one. Thanks, Pratt. Take care. We'll see you around. Thanks for hanging out. Highly and welcome in.
This goes up into the windmill village. Here's our speakers. There's leaves on the floor in here. There's so much happening in this room. Everything is suspicious. Look at these little loops of leaves. Okay. Focus, Jen. Focus. Or at least try to focus. See, here's another door. All these, like, tunnels under the island. It's weird. Oh, and we never came back and did these because I didn't know how the rules for either of these panels worked. Okay, well we can work on this, right? Oh, weird. Okay, hang on. Now you're equipped, uh, hopefully. These are still so tricky though because of that. Because these two on the bottom are weird. I feel like we have to do some cool, elaborate thing, but we can't cut off the exit like that. You know? It's different from whether or not something's easy, but how the- but now the panels mean something different. Yeah. They do mean something different now. So weird. It's weird to me how it has to be these shapes, right? Because you can't rotate it. And if I were to move it... And include it anywhere else in there, it doesn't- it's not the same shape anymore. Or it's- it's not the right orientation anymore. But this is always problematic because you can't close the loop here. There's something to it that I don't understand.
Like, we, um... If they were, if you could flip them around and include this first piece, that would make more sense. Not more sense. That's what my brain wants to happen. I just don't, I'm not seeing how it's possible. Because what other ways can you fit that shape? You can scoot it over one, now you don't have the orange included in the square anymore. You could scoot it up one, but now you don't have the orange included in the square anymore. You can move it diagonal one, but now you don't have the orange included in the square anymore. That's it. And why do they give you the four black squares in the middle anyway? What purpose do those serve? To try to make me keep- to distract me? To keep making me think I can do stuff like this? When I cannot. different ways we can start this. We can start by going forward and going to the left. And that closes off this puzzle for us. The No, it still doesn't. That's the thing is even this doesn't complete it because you have that errant bottom right hand corner square that's messing everything up for us. It's always going to mess up this bottom one. How do we fix that? If you... Let's say we did, we could flip them around. Okay, if you flipped them all, or not flipped them around, but if you took the one in the top corner and moved it here and the one in the bottom and moved it here like there's other shapes we can make is that it because we have to do oh I didn't mean to exit out we have to do this I think that I, I honestly think the black squares are just there to make you try to solve the puzzle the way you're not supposed to solve the puzzle Sykes, hi, welcome in. Beep boop beep. Yeah, that's what we're doing a lot of. So maybe it's... Okay, so if we've got this one... We somehow have to connect one of the top ones to fit right here. We have to. And then the bottom one can fit right here. And then this other one can fit right here. But we're still missing a piece. Indy, hi, welcome. It's good to see you. I'm struggling with this. Okay, so we need... I guess I shouldn't focus on getting to the top right corner. I should focus on making a diagonal. 
which would look like Maybe this. No, that's wrong. Got this one. Maybe this. I don't know. I think I'm on to something, but that's really tricky. Cuz what cuz what shape can I make that includes all four of those corners? Maybe this. It doesn't work. What about this? got the one that makes the branch corner on the bottom right, the other, its counterpart on the top left, and we've got this one, and now we need this one. So I think, ooh, that's tricky. I think then the bottom one has to turn to be this one. We, we just have to keep, like, twisting them all. But one of the bottom two has to be like those corner pieces. I don't know how to describe this. Does this help when I move my hands all around like that? Um, what happens if I change this? I think that's that also works. This bottom corner. What 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 are we missing? This 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 Oh, the one we're missing works in that corner but it doesn't connect to the other pieces okay that's something solve the invisible rubik's cube yeah amariah hi welcome in happy friday we had a great warm-up we finished the sand area and then we went to here and now my warm-up is being put to the test it's gonna be so worth it we gotta make it happen so okay how do we connect I think I know what I have to do oh but that doesn't work Ooh. I just need to start like making little adjustments so that I can make it happen. So the top, let's say we do the top right hand one like this. Okay, let's just, I know that doesn't solve it, but then we have to rotate the bottom left hand one. This, this, this. Wait, does that work? No. We have a duplicate. We have to change the, the bottom left hand one because it's the same shape as the top right hand one. We need four different. 
is this, this, this. And the only shape we're missing, we can't, we can't change it to the bottom left hand one because it won't include the shape that's there. I mean, it won't include the orange. But if we swap it to this, then we have to change the top right hand one. To this? but we're missing the closure on that shape. So I don't know if that's gonna work. But we can, oh, I don't, I don't know. I don't think that's gonna work. Oh, I just gotta try it, but I can't, I don't wanna undo what I just did. Um. Oh, I think I see where it goes wrong. Right here. One. Two. Oh, we have a duplicate there as well. So that was that wasn't what I just outlined probably. in it. Oh, this is so tricky because I should have taken a screenshot. This is so brutal. One. No, and they all, I can't single them out like that because they all have to be all four of them have to be together because if I split them up you can't make all these fun shapes because now you're using one from this corner over here but they're not connected but it's okay if they don't connect at the end here we can just loop back around no but I cut off that other side Ooh, so confusing What if we do like this? Did I already try something like this? I think I did. Where I just split them in groups of two? We can't do that. Oh, 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 it's so confusing. I was on to something and then I lost it. Okay, I like this setup here. Or even this setup here. Right? We like this okay. here and then we're missing the one that's in the top right and it's not connected okay this is where we were before though do it like no matter how we start this right if I if I decide I want to single this out or single this out 
I don't think it's gonna matter. Because... Whether I started the right on the, or the left shouldn't matter. You're, it's, it's, it's got one of each on either side, no matter what we do. There's two ways to solve this, I'm guessing. Because it's symmetrical, because the finish line is directly in the center up here and the start's directly in the center at the bottom. Three. There's three ways you can capture the orange on all of these. So we just have to find the right three for each corner. Geodude, hi, welcome. Uh, this game is called The Witness and it is full of panels like this one with different symbols on them and all the different symbols have different rules. Um, right now, I'm trying to, oh, how do I describe the Tetris rule? It's so annoying. I'm trying to make whatever shape is in orange inside the square, I have to make that same shape out of the bigger squares. And if I link multiple shapes together... I can put them in different places as long as the orange is still included in the overall big shape. How did I do? Was that an okay explanation for people who, who know this puzzle? <laughs> and for this one, the black squares in the middle, I think, are kind of a red herring. I don't think I actually... Because normally if there's different colored squares, you have to draw a line between the different colors and separate them, but there's only uh, one color of singular square. I don't think I have to separate the black from the orange. I guess we'll find out if I ever figure out how to just satisfy the orange square rule. It's not looking good, though. It's not looking too good. got a duplicate there. We've got a duplicate there. No, you're good, Geodude. I try my best to, um, to explain, um, uh, especially when you're like just jumping in for the first time. Yeah, that's true. What Austin said is true also. What if we do... I know I tried this before. But then that'll prevent us from having that one corner duplicate, potentially.
but now they're not connected. But now they're not connected. How do we do this? I know this doesn't solve it, but does that satisfy at least four different shapes? Or do we still have duplicates? I think that, yeah, that gets us our four unique shapes. So is there something I can swap out and still get what we need? So interesting too, there's only three shapes that the top right hand square can be. This is the one that doesn't work. We can't be the one in the bottom, I don't know where I'm pointing, in the bottom right hand corner because that one is fixed. That's our one constant. So what are the other two? A duplicate of the right hand corner like that yeah so that fixed one thing but then we have to change the left hand corner I don't know that that was it oh well um Can't be this, can't be this. Can it be this? Who's using that shape? No, it can't be this because then it doesn't include the orange. is convoluted. Oops. Oh, we've gotten here before and we can't do that. Maybe because of this. Because we've come here before. And I think this does satisfy everything? No. Now it does. This one. This one. No, because it like singles it out. I haven't drawn it correctly. Was that not what I had set up before though? so difficult <sighs> it's so easy for me to lose all my progress because I have to like undraw it Okay, at least we're back somewhere with- we just have the duplicates in the corners. I 
I just think the reason it keeps failing is because I'm I'm flipping, like I'm rotating one in my head and then not realizing until after I've rotated it that it no longer connects to the other squares. And I'm pretty sure all four of them have to touch for this to work. I feel like the music's a little loud today, is it? Oops, I wanted to tab out, not... It's a tough puzzle, this is a hard one, yeah. You can't cross when you come to the edge of one, it goes boop, 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 boop. <laughs> um, just keep in mind, Speculation, I know you've never played this game before, but don't, like, give away any, oh, maybe try this, like, no. Please, please refrain from trying to solve it, even though I know you don't know the answer yet, because you haven't played it before, you could still potentially spoil it. And that's not just you, that's, like, like that's always for everybody. All right. I, ha I have to undo it because I'm stuck there. I think we have to try again to rebuild it. That's a duplicate. Was a, I had this thought of some kind of process of elimination. And I thought, wow, this is great. I'm going to get it. And then I lost the thought completely. And I'm upset. Because if this is the way I'm going to choose to solve the puzzle, we know that the lower right hand corner has to be this shape. This one right here. Oh, I know Geodude. Yeah, yeah. I, I just, it gets a little bit like tough when you ask, oh, so is this an assumed rule? And what if I had forgotten that or something? I like, obviously it wouldn't have been on purpose, but um, this is a tough one. Rascal, hi. Yeah, let's try to give it a little and that'll solve it. <sighs> can we can we use just the other three and then have we done that yet but i think we just can't like overlap at that point We can do this. No, that does, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. <sighs> Frustration. I think it doesn't work because I've decided to use one of those extra squares at the bottom. That's why it's not working. So maybe we have to abandon that after all. But I- we can't- I, I don't know if anybody, um, if this is too loud, it's too loud for me. I feel like I'm yelling. We're back to this again.
And we always end up with this as a tail end of the, like, I'm trying to kind of connect them all in a, <laughs> in a C shape. Um, because this bottom right hand one, there's not a shape that's going to enable it to connect to the top right hand corner. So our only way is to like catch it from around the other side is what it feels like. Have we done? Okay, so this doesn't work because it doesn't include the orange. And this doesn't work because those two are no longer connected. So it only leaves us with two things for this bottom left hand corner. It can be this, or it can be this. Okay, if I could form it. Which I bit, I was working with this one for a while, so let's try that. Okay, now the top left hand corner, it cannot be the same shape as the starting one. It already can't be the same shape as the lower left hand corner because that doesn't get the orange. It can't be... Lindsay, hi! Welcome in! Thank you for the raid! Otsuji, Thrifty, Proto, hi friends, Dalton. You're catching me, like, trying to figure this puzzle out with my hands. It's breaking my brain. I hope you had a good stream. Can I get a shout out for Lindsay, please? Ashley, hi. Um, <laughs> don't panic. Yes. Begins to yes. panic. Yes. There's no need to panic. Yes. It's just a Lindsay raid. Thank you for the follow. Thanks for supporting a fellow human. You love this game? This game is a trip. It's so good. I love it too, uh, Thrifty. It's, it's, you, you caught us at a moment where we're, we're, we're staring at a panel. <laughs> Hi, happy weekend. Happy Friday, everybody. Um, here, let me grab you that shout out real quick. What were you working on? Elder Scrolls, nice. Skyrim, nice. Um, very, what? Not puzzly, but lots of exploring. Giant game, giant map. I don't, I don't know much about Skyrim. If you don't know me, hi, I'm Jen the Human. I do uh, Metroidvanias and puzzle games and we keep it really chill and calm. Normally we would have been playing a Metroid game today, but I just needed like a relaxing chat and listen to lo-fi while I try to solve some puzzles kind of a stream. Skyrim was very rude today. We ventured into some hard things and died a lot. Oh no, very rude. Um, if you're familiar with this game, this is the my save file, 342 plus 54, and we're on day 7. Albeit we've had some shorter streams mixed in there too because of, uh, I don't know, just because of life. Panels time, I know. We're trying to use process of elimination to figure out which, how to draw this line. So we know we've got the bottom right hand corner. Then this one. We can't do this because we a duplicate. We can't do this because it's a duplicate, which means we only have two options. This. This. What's the other option? This. So I feel like it has to be this one. And we've we've gotten here before. We've come to this one before. which doesn't work because then the only remaining shape that we need doesn't connect to the other shapes, I think. Or it just doesn't include the orange on the last one. It just doesn't include the orange. One. So do we need to try this shape now? 
Yes. This shape now. And now I think what we run into is it just doesn't connect. This is our forever plate. Me pretending to know what's going on. If you're not familiar with the game, there's like all these symbols on these panels that are different rules that we've learned along the way. We're a little bit deep in the weeds of puzzling at this point. I wish I could show you like the beautiful game scenery, but I want to try to solve this panel before we go take a walk. Um... And also, if you are into puzzle games, like, don't look at anything that's happening, because I don't want to spoil it for you. This game is really worth it, as far as puzzle games go. I feel like, even if, I, I feel like we're missing something, because even if I backtrack and change the bottom left hand shape to the one other possibility, we're gonna run into the exact same problem, which is that the remaining shape that we need doesn't connect to the other shapes. And that is frustrating. It's very frustrating. I love puzzles, so I have to check it out. Don't worry, it's not registering at all, so no spoilers. Okay. At this point, you're looking at grids and lines and symbols, which you'll be looking at the whole game. So yeah, if you don't know what's happening here, I don't know that it'll spoil much for you. Um, it's just a lot. It gets, like, really... Whew. Lots of puzzles. I tried to play this game years ago and it was so tough. I've been enjoying lurking in your Sunday streams and watching you figure it out. Thanks, Lindsay. Oh yeah, we normally play this on Sundays, but I already said that. Um, I appreciate appreciate you lurking in here for these. I, I'm really loving even just like the little bits of progress that we get. Um, so far, we haven't completely hit a wall yet. But there are definitely days when I get to a puzzle and I don't know. And I'm just like, okay, let's go. Let's go for a walk. Let's try something else. There's some things you won't want spoiled when I leave the panels. True. Yeah. We have a hole on this channel. We also do no spoilers, no backseating, no hints, no anything. Um, just like Lindsay. And we have a whole spoiler chat in the Discord so that if you need to talk about the game, you can go there. I have it hidden and muted. I don't know if you do that as well. Lindsay, but it's like hidden away so I can't see it for people that like want to know my progress and stuff like that. Okay, so now we've got these two. It can't be this shape because it doesn't include the orange. It can't be this shape because it's a duplicate. It can't be this shape because it's a duplicate. So the only one remaining doesn't connect to the others. But, oh, and this one has to connect to the others because we need it for that bottom right hand slice. Haven't done it, I should, for future games. It's been, like, the most helpful for us for this one in Outer Wilds. It doesn't get used a ton for everything else. Um, some Metroid usage. Um, but for puzzle games, for people that want to try to solve it alongside, or like, ooh, I wonder if she'll notice this. That's when I've, that's when I've really found it the most useful. I've seen other people use it for stuff, too. Um, for a lot of retro games, I, I've seen it used. Oh, heck yes. Welcome into the Discord. Pressure relief valve. Exactly. Like, please don't spoil, but we have a place where you can talk to other people who are very enthusiastic about the game and want to talk to you without spoiling it for me. It's great. Man, this one... I'm... I... I feel like we're right there, but it's just not quite connecting. Hmm. 
like those three shapes, the way that I have them, thank you for the posture check, Austin. The way that I have them lined up satisfies the orange, the orange, and the orange. But the problem child is now the top right hand corner because I need to draw a line where I can't draw a line. Do -do 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 -do. What if I, no. It's like, what if I go around this way and double back, but that won't work either. There are sometimes when I really wish that I could change the rules of this game. Oh, man. Then the game would be gone. Yeah. Just for this one puzzle, I want to be able to double back over a line I've already drawn. Or cross through a line I've already drawn. Just this once. What happens if I do that? It doesn't blink. Sometimes if you get the puzzle wrong, it'll one of these symbols will blink to tell you like, Oh, you didn't satisfy this rule, but this, this is... This is not one of those times. I don't think I can just grab extra squares, like extra tiles like that. I don't think that's gonna work either. The fact that you can't double over corners gets me all the time. Mm -hmm. When I get frustrated, I think about how cool it is that something that seems this impossible has a valid solution. It's gonna be so cool when we get it. I almost, I almost feel like I want to take a break on this one and move to this one for a bit and just see how bad this one is in comparison. Because we've been at this one for a minute. Maybe it'll maybe it'll help to just step aside. I remember this one though, and I don't like this one either. So the rules for this one are any single colored square like this. We've seen a bunch of different colors. This one only has black and white. You have to separate the black squares from the white squares with your line. But you can also, you can do more than that. I can also draw lines between two black squares or whatever. Um, these these white branch things here have a whole separate rule as well that is just going to be interesting. I don't know what we're going to do with that yet. This game is endless, hey Antable. It's marvelous how, <laughs> how massive this game is. I never want it to end. This one has me way more confused. Way more confused. I'm assuming this white will cancel out that other white square? No. Oh yeah, it does. Does it tell you percent? It does not. It just tells me how many panels I finished.
Oh. Maybe? Maybe? Woo! Okay, we needed to just try the other one. That's so... I needed that. We needed that rush of finishing a panel. It had been too long since we got one. <laughs> I know it wasn't the one we were working on, but that's okay. There are ways to find out in-game what you're missing. Finished it, but you're trying to trying to hundred percent it. Yeah. We did it. Hype, hype, hype. Um Okay, so if anybody is not wanting to see what was beyond this door because of spoilers, now is your chance to look away. Thanks, friends. Thanks for all the the, yay. the, the joy and the yay. Are there puzzles behind this, too? Ooh. Wait, I didn't... This white line is gonna be something, eventually. But not yet. I'm, a, I, I'm gonna have to open both doors at some point. Oh yeah, that worked. I you're right. I didn't explain the um these rules. I I just told you they were different. So the reason why white squares and black squares were not separated because what these branches do, they'll cancel out one square that they're in that they're grouped with. So I was able to do it because I had this whole chain of black squares and one white connected to this branch so it went oop okay I can fix that I'll cancel this out for you and then the rest of them was all white squares with one black square connected to the other branch and this branch said oop I can fix that for you let me cancel out this one black square and then when it canceled them out it was like oh bing you did it so it the the branches are weird because when you solve the puzzle It'll make the like incorrect noise, and then you'll hear a gong because that's when it cancels, and then you'll get the success noise. This is one of the games where I'm happy to not have a percentage. I feel like it would have haunted me. Yeah, I don't mind not having it. Maybe later. Um, but I keep saying what I didn't expect with this game is to play it this many streams, and. Uh, you know, I'm happy to just keep exploring and, and, and trying to see what more we can figure out and discover. Are these roots some kind of shape? I think if we beat it and beat it and I want to do 100% in the Discord or something like that, then maybe I'll want to know a percentage, but for now I'm, I'm good. These are like those other branches we saw in the windmill area and in the temple area. I feel like they're gonna make some kind of shape. It's 2000 percent it, yeah. There is a randomizer for this game, so... Having to intentionally make mistakes is kind of wild. All right, let's just keep going. There's got to be so many cool secrets. And there's so many red herrings. The game like has me looking for stuff all the time that doesn't exist. I'm examining these roots and the staircase and the rocks. Like everything is a is a false environmental puzzle. And table, thank you for redeeming human kindness, sending human kindness from me to you and all of chat, everybody. Happy Friday. Happy weekend. It's good to know you. It's good to have you here. It's really comforting to have you in chat and 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 streaming with me and hanging out with me. Um, you're worthy and you're loved. You can do this. You're going to have a great weekend. I appreciate you. Cozy vibes. Kindness vibes. I said we were going to do a shorter stream today, so I feel like we're going to wrap it up in maybe 20 minutes. As much as I don't want to, I don't know, we'll see. I was trying to have a shorter stream tonight because... Oh, what? Because I have a really early day tomorrow, so... um, We shall see. 
I wasn't expecting this to land us here. Thoughts on playing Slime Ranger 2? I want to. I need to wishlist it. Is it wishlistable yet? I would love to play Slime Ranger 2 on stream. Um, I'm going to play it regardless. But we used to stream Slime Rancher a lot. And it's, it's such a fun game. It's so cute and relaxing. And I don't know. It's good stuff. All right, so maybe let's leave that panel alone. Are there other panels in that room? Around the other edges? There are not, right? There's just these, which we only have two clues for so far. I'm going to leave it alone for now. I, I think I've, I've dug myself in too deep with it. Um, I would like to go back to the temple. Again, I know. Um, and it's right here. And just maybe see, just take a little, a quick peek. Man, I'm, we're seeing things that aren't there. Oh yeah, and last time we tried to get into that other garden area and I couldn't. <laughs> I couldn't find the entrance, which was very silly. I did watch the direct. We talked about it a little bit. Um, oh, was Slime Rancher 2 the first thing on the direct? Because I missed like the first four minutes. Man, I'm seeing all kinds of stuff. Okay. Regarding red herrings, who told a story? Of having used a strong smelling smoke fish to divert and distract hounds from chasing a rabbit, the red referring to them being cooked or smoked. I never knew that. That's cool. Ooh, I wonder now that the yellow box from the desert laser is out of the ground, I wonder if those lifting up create like they give a yellow backdrop in places where there wasn't one before and maybe we need that to solve certain things like I wonder if this is the answer we need for all this yellow in here that I've not been able to figure out you know could be Oh, actually, I think this is going to turn out well for us ending soonish because I think my PC is starting to get a little choppy. We've been having some problems lately. It's not temperature. It's not lo like overloaded. It's just been acting up. I don't know. Monster Hunter Rise. Oh. No Slime Rancher. Okay. They just recent, pretty recently released that there's like the mobile Slime Rancher on Switch at all. So um, I'd be surprised if they already had a new thing. The area you showed us was the first environmental puzzle discovered. Fangirl, the first one I discovered was, uh, was this front of the temple. This one was the, the first one I did. And then we went after a few more shortly after that. But this was after I went to the top of the mountain and still didn't figure out how environmental puzzles worked. And I think that's okay. All right, uh, so the reason I'm here is to look at this again. Man, th is it choppy for you all or is it pretty smooth for you all? It looks okay in OBS. Uh, I wanted to come back here and see if these red leaves meant anything, but I, don't know, I think that was a pipe dream. Okay. 
blew my mind. It's smooth? Okay, good. Smooth as my brain. Magus, please. No. Uh. This dang temple. And I wanted to come back and look at the red on these pillars. I swear I thought, okay, I see something in the VOD. I'm gonna come back here and it'll make sense, but we're still not there yet. Why I keep coming back here when I don't know what to do beats me. I feel like these, I said this too, but I feel like these open up or something. I don't know. <sighs> Alright, what else is on my list? Observe, go observe the new laser. Whee! We could go back to the hedge maze. I've been avoiding it because I was so thrown off by it when we first went. But it's been a really long time since we've back, been back here. I don't think we've been back here since the very first day. And we could, we could, this is a good place where maybe we'll get a couple panels and then I'll be like very excited to progress the next stream. Is it considered backseating to encourage your hunches? I would say don't, don't encourage them or discourage them. I would say that's a good thing for spoiler chat. It might not be backseating, but on the safe side, I would just leave it alone. Thanks for using the Justin command and table. We did get to our cosplay goal, which is a Metroid related, um, a Samus related cosplay goal. Even though it says Justin Bailey, it is from Metroid. Austin, hi, welcome. The puzzles are pretty good. We finished, um, what was it called? The sand area. We finished up the sand area. And then we did a puzzle in like the basement of the windmill area. And we turned that one reflective panel to face the mountain. So we have seven lasers now, I think, which is, it just seems like a lot. One, two, three, four, five. See, now there's only six from this side. One, two, three. No, there's seven. There's one that's on the very far side, the back side of the mountain. So in here we have hedge mazes and there's another section with pressure plates that I also got stuck on, on the first day. Uh, this one... This is the one we solved, and that leads over to the pressure plate section, I think. But we can also go to this one, and this one had me stuck. I don't know what's going on with it. It makes me think I need to look at it from above, but I feel like I did already look at it from above. Is there some kind of line drawn or like guidance? Is it this long grass? Is that it? Maybe. That's blocked. If it is the long grass. I'm gonna forget which way I took though. I feel like I should, I always feel like I should strafe in here. So we come in from the bottom, right. But the puzzle itself, I see it over there, is turned. So we're going forward, and then left, forward, right, 
forward, left, back, left, forward. Am I going to remember all that? No.
Where does this lead us? I don't know what's over there. Maybe it just takes you back to the pressure plate section. Agatha, hi! Thank you so much for the raid. How was your stream? Welcome in. Can I please get a shadow for Agatha? Just one more puzzle. I know, just one more. One more. I wonder if they have any accessibility features for hearing impaired people. From what we've seen so far, this game is mixed with accessibility features. Crunchy Path reminds me how units sounded when they moved in an old turn-based strategy game of yours. Hmm, interesting. Uh, Luku, Indy, Toons, Agatha, thank you for the Buddha raid. We are playing The Witness. It's been so good. And we're having a chill lo-fi and puzzle stream today. Thank you for coming in. I'm doing pretty good. How's Resident Evil going? I watched your, um, your cosplay clip. I'm always, I'm, I'm always seeing your, um, your tweets, Agatha. I love your Twitter account. <laughs> and I saw you reposting that one with the, with the, with the dance redemption. It was great. <laughs> Has the witness not annoyed you? I, I love it. It's definitely got some points where I'm like, I don't know what to do here, but we usually just leave and find a new puzzle and then maybe come back to it later. Maybe not. Some of them I've never been back to, but we've not run out of things to do yet. Any variety of colorblindness could be an issue. Mm -hmm. I haven't messed with the color settings. We've talked about, um, as far as accessibility in this game, mostly just controller settings because it's one of those games that has a joystick for look around and a joystick for move. And then on mouse and keyboard, the mouse moves the camera which presents challenges. Yeah, of course, of course. Glad to shout you out. We were just talking about, um, like, Llama was in here, Toons was in here. Uh, we were talking about how some of us found each other on Twitch, and I certainly have Twitch friends that I'm connected to because of you, so it's always nice to revisit where we all kind of started out. And... Agatha was one of the first people I started watching and interacting because of dog percent and um, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Aww. What's the witness about? I don't really know yet. And if you know, no spoilers. So far it's, it's a really beautiful immersive puzzle game and things all seem to be kind of cryptically connected in some way. There is an overlying story it seems like, but I don't know what it is yet. I've been having trouble putting it together. And I, I get so distracted, I'm like, ah, story, we'll get to you later. I wanna I wanna work on this puzzle right now. All the love. Twitch ew. <laughs> Uh, second Edith, welcome in. They tried to make it as, ac as accessible as possible, but they didn't let it stop their creative vision. The creator said they tried to make an environmental puzzle only colorblind people could see, but they couldn't do it. That's cool. I mean, like, it's a hard one. It's a really hard one to make accessible and integrated because of what they're trying to accomplish with some of the subtle visual cues, subtle auditory cues like I, I I don't know how you'd have to make different versions of the game with the things that you could toggle on and off um, but depending on what you struggle with what your disability is you can see like certain parts of the game and I feel like that's for everybody like your ability level for puzzles is keeping you from seeing different parts of the game depending on what you can accomplish and get through I don't know is there a plot I didn't get that far because I got stuck I, I think I've been hinted at by other people that there's a plot, or I've been asked, like, what do you think the plot is? But I don't, as far as I can tell so far, I am not, um, I don't know. So we, we are... In this hedge maze area i haven't been back here since the very first day i played the game uh i'm not sure 
what this one is about. We've got sandy path, light green shrubs. We've got shadows. But they're not blocking any of our path so far. It doesn't seem like. I think one of the best games for accessibility is weirdly enough Last of Us 2. I love the game, but of all the games to need that much accessibility, I wouldn't have guessed it would have been the most well executed. Nice. That's great. I don't, um... I've been, like, talking about it a little bit more these days and kind of digging in. Because I used to always just use Celeste as one of my favorite examples because it has so many variable things. It's not just, like, easy, hard, extra hard, you know, as far as different difficulty settings. It's just got a bunch of different buttons you can turn on and off to make it suit exactly what you want. I feel like it's key for there to be at least a solid reason if something's inaccessible beyond just implementation time. You can get software for colorblindness, yeah. I find accessibility in games kind of fascinating subject. I found a game that was designed for people with poor eyesight and I'm looking forward to playing it on stream. That's awesome. Sadly gotta head out post stream unwind. Of course, of course. Have a great rest of stream, enjoy witness. Thank you, Agatha, have a good unwind. We'll see you around, take care. Only partial patch to the problem and unfortunately inadequate in most situations. Uh, take care. Have a good weekend. Happy Friday again. Celeste is my example of good accessibility. And for, for not knowing that many games that are good examples, I feel like I know at least one pretty solid one. Um, and it's 2D so you don't have the camera joystick look around problem. Um, why am I stuck in this corner? What's going on here? But, uh... I don't know. There's all there's lots of, of problem solving that goes on with accessibility options. I don't know if there's some really subtle thing or some really obvious thing that I'm looking past or something outside the puzzle, something within the puzzle. If this is one we need to look at from the top down. I keep like trying to back up to see better and just running into the walls of the maze like you do. I almost want it to be this like kind of darker, redder soil here, but I don't think that's it. Cause it's in a lot of places. Oops. It's this. <laughs> Maybe this- does this have like scratch marks on it? A reflection on it that tells me by looking at it instead of the hedge maze itself? I don't know. Is this the same as one of the others? If I look at it from far away. Uh, I'm gonna test how good it is by playing without glasses. Cool! Yeah, absolutely. I was gonna say, Antable, I've been getting to know Antable um, off stream a little bit because he's working on a really cool accessibility project and like you said, it's his life's mission. Like, just making better 
options and problem solving, especially for controller specific accessibility options. Um, feel free, free to share the Overjoyed link and talk about it if you want to. I would love to share that. I need to give you a link permit though. There you go. If you back up hard enough, you'll knock over the hedge, yeah. I don't, uh... I don't think this one is a sound cue. I guess I should turn the music down. If it is, this does not match the puzzle that's shown. Right? Hang on, hang on. This is the first one we did. This is the second one we did. This is the third one we did. Is there an answer on the back? I just realized my phrasing on general purpose color adjustment was overly harsh. I mostly meant that usually games supporting something directly can wind up being preferable if it's available. Oh, to an like outside software. Overjoy is accessible virtual joystick controlled by the mouse or trackpad to eliminate the need to use a keyboard to move and perform actions in PC games. It's really cool. Andy, take care. I hope you figure the puzzle out. Thank you. I do too. We'll see. We might have to end it before I figure this one out. Um, but we made a lot. Of, we still made a lot of progress today. I'm happy with what we did today. I'm always happy with however much progress we get in in the witness. Except for that one time when my computer died. I wasn't happy that day. <laughs> and that's understandable. Can we see the other side of this door from here? We can, but I don't think that helps us. And I remember wanting to get a better vantage point the last time we were here, but... I don't know that that will help us either. Do these trees tell us the answer? Okay. These branches on the ground. Um, is there some cool negative space Easter egg hidden in these branches? I didn't want to go down there. Instead of solving this last puzzle, because I'm not really sure where to go with that. I think I'm 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 hitting a wall with puzzles for the night and also I'm getting kind of like, uh, I have stuff to do. Um short stream and we're almost at 3 hours, you know. Instead of doing that, I kind of want to come back and look at some of these statues because again, we haven't been here since the first day and I didn't know that there were all these optical illusions with the statues and their shadows. So we'll just take a quick revisit. And, uh, and then we'll wrap up. Future stream about accessibility coming soon. Stay tuned. Just glad to have witness stream of any length. I was, I was just really feeling this, digging this game instead of, uh, instead of Metroid tonight. I hope you understand. 
it's been a good one. It was just what I needed. There's somebody guarding this door. Saying no access. There's a bouncer over there. Yeah, we're statue peeping. Although so far, none of these are really looking very optical illusion. They're doing different hand symbols, kind of. We listened to this recording before. We found a couple of recordings in here. I don't want to undo this puzzle on accident. I don't want to step on the panels. Statue peeping. Yeah, I'm really not sure what's going on here. Hello? Hello? Hmm. Maybe it makes sense when you view it from up there. Oh. I think we have to go through. Is this the one that we did not finish yet? Or did we finish this? We did not, because that's the ending right there. But we can come up here. Parker, hi, welcome. We are witnessing. We're revisiting some stuff that we did on the first day that we haven't been back to yet. Trying to get a different perspective. Oh, did I know you could walk out here? I think the problem we ran into this one was I needed to... Step on a panel that I couldn't get to or something like that, maybe? I'm not sure. To be honest, I thought I solved that one. There was one where you had to, like, take a screenshot of a door, turn around, and then use that to help you solve the one on the other side of it. I think that's this one over here. And we haven't finished it yet. We haven't even started it. Maybe we did finish the purple one. There's so much to look at. There's always so much to look at. This one. I remember this one. Oh, and this was before we knew how the Tetris pieces fully worked. So that's probably part of it, too. Where does this go? I forget. Just a little armchair. Also, this is one? This is a puzzle right there. I'm not sure how that lines up. Maybe that's a boat one that we already did. Oh, this looks like a octopus or something. That's cool. Hello, octopus. Oh, aha. I'm just, I'm just out of alignment. Do you have to sit in the chair to see it? Oh, we can step on the chair? I'm so bad at lining these up sometimes. But that's not a finish line. 
that's a hard edge. So we're we're not. I don't think we are where we need to be. We're not even getting sparkles. Pretty much everything in this game is a puzzle, yeah. I don't know, they're everywhere. <laughs> There's puzzles everywhere. Oh, and we haven't been back to this ship since the beginning either? That's intense. I think I remember coming out here, listening to a sound recording, and walking back and being like, Oh, well, this is just scenery. <laughs> Little did we know. I cannot with this game. Okay, um, where am I gonna end it? We need to pick a place to end it. What do we want to start with next time? The pressure plate puzzle? I think so. Your favorite sound recording is here? I, I think I really remember, uh, liking the one on the ship. It's one of my favorites so far. This green thing is a is a puzzle from the boat for sure. I remember that. Run, run, run. Cuz I think the ship one talked about It talked about a captain who said it was like their their opinion of the outcome of something was was them determining the truth and not how it, the actual event occurred I don't know I should listen to it again I remember liking it favorite one is redacted yeah yeah the overconfident dude on the boat mm -hmm. all right well Shoot, let's uh let's set ourselves up for next time, which is over oh god, I'm stuck in the door. Which is over here, right? If we go down instead of outside, yeah. This is where we'll start next time and try to tackle some more of these. Can't wait. <laughs>